in the previous lecture we discussed about the definition of matter and we also talked about what our ancient philosopher said and what the modern scientists say so we are starting with what our modern scientists have classified matter with and physical properties is what we are talking about so we will first take up physical nature of particles of matter let us discuss two very important properties first number 1 matter is made up of particles matter is made up of particles and the second property or second thing which we want to discuss is that these particles of matter are very very tiny the particles of matter are very very tiny and to understand these two properties we need to take some very simple experiments which we are uh, you know used to doing or seeing in our everyday life now we want to see whether this matter is made up of particles or not so let us do a simple experiment and this experiment will help us understand that matter is made up of particles suppose we take a glass of water we take a glass and fill water say up to this level and we also mark it that this is the level of water water is there inside this glass now we add one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of sugar what happens instead of sugar we can also take salt what will happen after we add sugar crystals into this we can stir it when we stir this slowly you will find that when we stir it you will find that these particles slowly disappear where do these particles go so let us say these are the water particles water molecules here and the sugar particles or the salt particles they go in between them that means we will have to assume that this matter is made up of particles and there is space also in between these particles because after adding one teaspoon or even two teaspoons of sugar the level does not rise the level remains the same so where did these particles go they went between the particles of water that concludes or with this experiment we can conclude that matter is made up of particles second point which we want to understand is that these particles are very tiny again we will take an experiment to find out whether these particles are really tiny or not suppose again we take a glass or a beaker which has say 100 milliliters of water it is having only water and now we add few crystals maybe one two or three crystals few crystals of potassium permanganate that is kmno4 so what will happen this entire water is going to turn purple just one or two crystals we have added now what we will do is we will take 10 milliliters of this liquid 10 milliliters of this purple liquid and we will add it into fresh water 
So we again take a beaker containing 1000 or 100 milliliters of water. And this 10 milliliters of the purple solution is added here. And you will find that this also becomes purple. We can do it one more time. So what we will do is we will take 10 milliliters of this purple liquid and add it into again pure water, again 100 milliliters of water. And when you add this into this, this water also turns purple. The purple color may become slightly fade, but it is still purple. That means one or two crystals of potassium permanganate. There were so many particles, millions of particles. So when we transferred little bit of this purple liquid into pure water, this water also turned purple. Again, from this purple, we transferred only 10 milliliters, a small amount into pure fresh water that also turned purple. That means few crystals of potassium permanganate contain millions of particles. We can do the same uh, or we can do another experiment to prove this point. Suppose we take a glass of water and we add few drops of lemon juice into it. This few drops of lemon juice and you just stir it properly and then you try to take out that water and taste it. You will taste that lemon juice everywhere. Then you just transfer little liquid into fresh water. You will taste it. The taste may get may, may get little, you know, uh, less intense, but you can still taste the sourness of the lime juice. So for proving every point, we have to understand simple experiments like made up of particles and because we don't see these particles, they're very, very tiny. So only method to understand about the physical nature of these particles is by performing simple experiments like this one. And you can try this experiment at home. Just take a small, uh, you know, marker pen, mark it on the glass, add one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three teaspoons of salt into it. No level changes. No level change is seen in this glass because all those salt or sugar particles are finding space between the water particles. That means we can easily conclude that matter is made up of particles and they are very, very tiny. Just one or two crystals, these crystals are very small and just one to the of these crystals, they can color 1000 liter of water into purple liquid. That means that tiny crystal has millions of particles. Same thing can be tested by using ink also. Instead of potassium permanganate, suppose we don't have these crystals. We can use simple ink. We can take a glass of water, drop two drops of ink into it. See the color change? It becomes blue. Suppose you are using blue ink and then transfer little liquid from this container into pure water. This water will also turn blue. You can keep doing it three, four, five times and you will still find that blue color in the last container also. So this indicates that that one drop of blue ink or two drops of blue ink also had millions of particles. And they are so tiny that we cannot see those particles. So the only method to find out these particles is some kind of a color change or a taste change. That is how we can detect these particles. So these are two very important physical natures of the particles of matter.